Hey guys and welcome. My name is Aaron Wiesinger. This is Unbelievable Power Hours Let's Play World of Warcraft. So that's what I'm doing today. I am a level 13 Restoration Shaman. Now this guy I started up uh, yesterday or two days ago. Uh, I wanted to start from the beginning because there are quite a few changes that they made in the past couple years and it's a lot to take in if you're just jumping back into it so I wanted to start from the beginning Ooh, stunned all right kill that dude take a skin one of my professions is skinning there he goes this is mr. chili he's just uh he's hanging out right now I guess he's a combat or he can be. let me see hang on so he can be used as a battle pet I haven't done any of this stuff yet uh, but I think that's the next thing I want to do is get into seeing what battle pets are all about anywho I'm just gonna run around and kill some stuff and talk about the differences that I notice in between the two times that I played. So number one, I'm gonna cast Lightning Bolt at this dude. There we go. Oh, I can move around. That's weird. Uh, I am very much used to when you start casting a spell that has a timer, you gotta stand still. You gotta stand still like this. And if you moved, it would cancel it. So that is new. Uh, another thing that is specifically new about the Shaman is this lightning shield. You used to cast it. It also wasn't free. And when I say free, it used to cost mana. Now it's just an instant cast, like that. And it used to give you three lightning charges. Uh, every time someone would hit you, I just cast flame tongue on my weapon. Uh, every time someone would hit you, it would use up one of the three charges. And when all three charges were gone, you had to then recast it. So it was just another thing you had to do. Um, now it just lasts for an hour. Same with flame, flame tongue weapon. Okay, like I said, I am a restoration shaman. <clears throat> so once you hit level 10, now you have to uh, pick one of these three uh, areas to specialize in. I chose Restoration, which is the healer type. Uh, the other types are Elemental and Enhancement, and those are damage dealing specializations. Um, so anyway, once you choose that, you are automatically given this new spell, which for a healer is Riptide, which gives me uh, Let's see, 155 heal instant, and then 438 over 18 seconds. Also does some other things. So if we cast this now, we can see it gives me these buffs up here, increases my maximum health, and uh, heals me every th three seconds for 72. So pretty good. Uh, one thing that I don't like about that is that uh, it sort of takes... Uh, this all plays into what I was talking about when I say the game holds your hand a bit more, uh, a lot more than it used to. Uh, when you hit level 10 before, you got a talent point, and that was your first talent point that you had to put into uh, the specialization. So there are still these specializations, but they were trees. So you would put a talent point into each tree. I'm going to fight this guy. And that's how you kind of customized your character a bit more to be how you wanted it to be. Now you just click one of these three, and then at like uh, level 10, this is what you get. Then you wait till level 26, and you'll automatically get Earth Shield. You don't put the points into the tree anymore. It just kind of, you wait and stuff is given to you. Uh, same thing where um, it used to be every, le every two levels, you uh, had to run back, but you didn't have to. If you wanted to get those spells for your class, you had to run back to your class trainer. Like, I would have to run back to the shaman trainer 
in Orgrimmar, which is uh, back over there. That's the, the northern gate? Yeah, the northern gate for Orgrimmar. But now you don't have to do that. You just, the spells just show up. And that's good. But also bad. Uh, uh, because you get the spell, of course that's easier for you. You don't have to do anything. Uh, you also don't have to pay for those spells. You used to have to run back and pay the trainer to train you for those spells. Now it just shows up in your spell slot. Um, so while it's good that you don't have to run back, it saves you time. One of the things that I talked about was that there's a, a good aspect to having those uh, running back and forth things. Uh, at times. Not too much, because that would be really annoying, and I guess your threshold for what's annoying is different per person, but I felt like running back and forth uh, to big cities and um, to a greater or lesser extent uh, when you're doing quests going back and forth sort of gets you familiar with the map, so you don't have to worry about just looking at the mini-map for what you're supposed to do all the time. You get a feel for the land. Uh, but now, this is what I was talking about with Dan. Uh, so let's say for, ooh, um, like for this quest, this is the one that I have selected. And as you can see, as I switch to other quests that I want to track at that time, uh, it changes where this big fat golden arrow points you to. So this is obviously where I'm supposed to go. And then uh, if we click on the map, where is it? Map, map, map. I'm just going to hit him. Um, now we can see, yes, this is exactly on the map where we're supposed to go. Now the quest also tells you where you're supposed to go, but you can also just kind of look at the big arrow and follow that. Which again is good, but you know, I, I feel like not being shown go to A, B, C kind of lends itself to a little more... Oh, exploration, you have to think about where you're going more. And you... Um, hang on. There we go. Um, yeah, you have to kind of be more mindful of your surroundings instead of just staring at the mini-map and seeing, okay, I'm supposed to go there now. Uh, I think it kind of takes you out of the world a little bit. But anyway, um, what else is super different? I guess those are the main things that I noticed. I still like the game. I still think it's the best MMO for your buck out there. There are plenty of free-to-play MMOs. This one is still pay. It's 15 bucks a month. Um, but I think you can't go wrong if you want to check out... See? I was just standing there. I'm not used to having to... Or, being able to move. Uh, anyway, if if you're looking to try out an MMO, you've never done it before, I think you can't go wrong with WoW. Um, I feel like if this is a type of game you're going to like, you'll like this game. If you don't like MMOs and you won't like MMOs, you probably, if you don't like World of Warcraft, you probably won't like MMOs in general. Um, because I think this is the best example of what it can be, at least this type. Now, there are other ones like EVE Online, which is obviously very different because it's space-based combat kind of thing. But, um, yeah, I would, I would recommend if you've never played it to give it a shot. There's a free month trial in which you can see if you like the gameplay mechanics of it at all or what. But, um... Yeah, it's a very cohesive world. The art style is great. And they will be making some updates to it. They're not going to do the EverQuest 2 thing and make a completely different game that doesn't carry over your character or anything. And, um, yeah, they're updating the character models. Because, I mean, you can see here, I mean, there's not a ton of polygons going on there. Look how pointed his ears are. I can't see anything. There's too much grass. Um, let me get over somewhere else. Uh, Alright, all right, forget it. <laughs> um, so they're not very high poly. There we go. 
and so they're going to be updating these characters with uh, with much higher poly uh, characters. And so that will be cool. Interested to see how everything looks once it's getting uh, spruced up in the coming updates. So yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. I don't think there's anything else. Um, just wanted to show you and talk about some of my impressions coming back to the game a couple years later. Uh, it's still fun. Uh, I have mixed feelings about the updates, but I would definitely recommend this to anybody who hasn't tried out an MMO yet. So, all right, guys, that is it. My name is Aaron Wiesinger for Unbelievable Power Hour. Please leave comments. Uh, let me know if what you think I'm saying is totally stupid or great or whatever. Uh, comment, subscribe to us. Uh, find us on iTunes and Stitcher and subscribe, please. Uh, check us out at uphshow.com. Uh, you can also email us if you have anything you want to say. Uh, at podcast at uphshow.com. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.